Well, she's all you'd ever want She's the kind they'd like to flaunt and take the dinner Well, she always knows her place She's good style and she's good grace and she's a winner She's a murloc Whoa, 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 she's a murloc Talking about the little murloc Hope you had an awesome Halloween this weekend. In this tutorial, we're gonna return back to the gaming world and do a iconic murloc from the game World of Warcraft. I hope you're gonna like it. And for this look, we used a lot of spray paint, so you will need green spray paint and red spray paint and some blue color. And we used Christmas ornaments for the eyes, polymorph for the teeth, and quite a lot of tape and tin foil. So check this out. Time for preparations and let's begin with the eyes. We found unpainted baubles in two pieces in a craft store. So we're creating a mask here for the iris using masking tape. We tape that into one half of the bubble. When the tape's applied, we go on with yellow color just around that little tape. Perfect. Then break out the hairspray. This is regular hair coloring spray. It's safe on your skin and in your hair and it comes off with water. When your eye looks like this, just peel off the tape and you have a perfect iris to see through. Create two of those and then head on to the spikes on the head. We're using tin foil to get a spike shape, making sure we get a base to attach with as well. When we're done with the shape, we wrap the whole thing in masking tape. And if you are wondering why we're using this hairspray color, it's just because we were a little pressed for time when we filmed this. You can of course use any kind of paint to paint them. We kind of like this though, because it's safe to use on your body as well. And next up are the jaw pieces. They are pretty straightforward, not too much detail. And if you don't have a face cast, you can always create one using our tutorial. And if you're not up for that, you can just get yourself in front of a mirror and create it straight onto your own face. And since we were pressed for time during this filming, we chose to recycle the teeth from the killer snail. So, those teeth were made of polymorph plastic, but you can of course use any kind of material, even tin foil to create the teeth. And this is how we want it to look when we're done. So, we poke a hole using the teeth, add a little latex or glue, and push the teeth in there. What is going on here? Never mind this clip. All right, so the jaw is looking great, but it looks like we need some support underneath it. So let's create that extra cushion of tin foil for the jaw to rest on. Now that looks a lot better. Now we need to smooth out the surface, so we apply masking tape. And a little paint job on that. This is water-based color. This shout goes to Wallflower Artistry. Check Jessica's stuff out. It's so colorful, it's so beautiful. And now we got all the pieces to create our Murloc. So let's begin with getting our hair out of the way because we are going to put on a bald cap. <laughs> yeah, we latex it in place. You can of course use skin adhesive as well. And then we begin latex and paper tissues and then go straight for the spikes.
And then while holding it, we apply more latex and paper. Dry the whole thing up and the spike is in place. You can of course glue it to the ball cap as well. Just don't glue it into your hair. Get all but one spike in place, because we need some space to paint as well. And again, we paint using the hair coloring spray. You can use anything you got. And it's important to have fun, so you can also tram ça in the mirror. And when the base is all green, we can put on the last spike. Time to reshape the face, we begin with masking tape. Then go on adding black in the mouth area. This is grease based colors. Then latex the jaw piece and your jaw up and apply it. Like that. And you will be able to move your jaw with this. Continuing with tape along the sides. Yeah, you can move it. This tape is just for smoothing out and get the right shape. One layer of latex will make sure we get the same texture all over. Bring out the paint again. Of course, this should really be done with an airbrush system, so do that if you got that. And then go on with the top part. Latex on it and put it in place. And we repeat all the steps. The tape, the latex and then the paint. And a hairdryer will speed up the drying process. Then it's time to create eye sockets. Using paper and latex. and a bit of extra tape. One coat of latex, a paint job, and then some detail work on the paint. The white one is a grease based color. And then for the blue parts, Ellie is mixing white and blue watercolor. Just because we didn't have any blue grease-based color. The Merlocks come in a huge variety of colors, so you can pretty much paint it any way you like. Ours is based on this, the iconic Merloc.
and it's time to attach the eyes. Now the thing is, if you attach them with the iris facing straight forward, you can actually see very good, but it doesn't look quite like the Murloc, so we chose to not be able to see straight forward and only to the sides. So when Ellie applies them, there, she can see through the side there. Not the best option if you want to run around a lot, but it's the best option if you want it to look like a Murloc. We finish up with the red hands and then we're ready. You are a murloc. I hope you like this look. Don't forget to subscribe and we want to know what you want to see in the next tutorial. So comment and love you. More cool gaming characters for you and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye!